Welcome back. This is going to be part two, uh, part three, sorry, of uh, tutorial 15. What I wanted to do was lay out all three machines now. We have configured so far the internet here in the center. So here, here is our internet router. We have configured the east router, so it's up and running, and we have configured the west router. So all three machines are there. And what I wanted to do is I've rebooted them all so you can see their names here, East, Internet, and West. And I'm gonna just log in on each of these machines and do some ping testing between them. So there we are, all logged in. We're gonna do a show interfaces on every single one of these so you can see where you want to end up. And we're tracking the progress. So, on the internet, we have a 64 and a 38 address. So it's ETH zeros on 64, and that's connected on the east side to 64002. It's a direct connection, straight from router to router. On the 38 side, the 38 is connected to ETH1 on the other side over here. So there's ETH1, uh, sorry, ETH0. ETH0 on the west is connected to ETH1 on the internet. So 3801, 3802. So let's make sure we can ping to 38002. And we can. Let's make sure we can ping to 6402. And we can. So both of those machines are talking to the internet. That's absolutely perfect, that's exactly what we want. So can we ping from here to, sorry, before I do that, let's just make sure, I, mean, I know the ICMP packet got returned, so yes, it is working, but let's just be absolutely sure and go over here, and we are, we're seeing that, and we'll do a ping 64001. And that's fine as well. So there's return, round robin, returning back through all of these machines. But what about if I ping 192.168.1, that's this address over here, dot one. What happens there? No network. I can't reach it from my internet machine here. Okay. What if I ping 172.16.0, dot one, same thing, can't ping that machine. So what we're gonna need are some routes here so that this machine can see the 192 and the 172 so that it can act as our router in the middle. So we're gonna have to add some static routes. So as we've just seen, we haven't, you know, we don't have a capability from the internet to ping either the 172 uh, over here or the 192 over here. So in order to make that happen equally, and worth showing here, uh, ping 192.168.1.1, which is the Ethernet one port over here. Um, in fact, I've just noticed, have I done that wrong? This should be two. No, of course it isn't, I'm losing my mind. This center one, the internet, goes from 30, we'll do a show interface, it's so easy to get, um, whoops, so easy to get uh, confused on all the interfaces. This is going from the 3801 to 3802 and then to 16811. So if I try to ping from here, it should go out, it's 642, to 641, go through 381 to 382, and then to 1992168. That's what we want to achieve, but it's unreachable. So it doesn't know where to go, which is exactly what we would expect, because even this one can't ping to that network. So in order to get that working, we want to do, uh, go into configuration mode, and we want to set protocols. Um, I'm only going to do this as a static route um, because we're not really here for the routing. That was in the OSPF one. 
which would have learned this route before for us. Um, I'm going to say 172.16 because it's the same in reverse to go from, from here to the 172 over here. 16.0.0 um, .0, which is that network over on the east and it's a 16 mask. Its next hop should be this router here which is going to be on 64.0.0.2. I'm also going to set a static route from 192.168.1.0 and that's a 24 mask and its next hop should be out the 38 network but it's got to go to this machine which is 3802 which is exactly what we have there. So commit those, save them and now let's ping and we're getting a ping. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. Let's ping the 172. 172001 which is the interface ETH1 over here. Yes we're getting to that one as well. Now what happens if I go over here and ping through? Yes, it's going right the way through to that port there. It's exactly what you want. The port on ETH1 over there. And let's do the converse over here. Let's ping 172.16.0.1 and that's going over here. So perfect. We have our machines pinging back and forth, routed through our fake internet router and everything's working fine. So that's exactly what we wanted to see. Yeah, perfect. Next up is to configure a couple of damn small Linux nodes to hang off of these routers as if they were on an actual VLAN. I'm just going to directly connect them, but they're going to be connected to each one of the east and the west.